Greetings, everybody. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King. Just want to say, um, let me take off this mask a little bit here. Just want to say a vote of thanks to all the person that support us and and Wednesday and Wednesday. Just want to say on the behalf of myself and my wife, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting us and our ordination. So we're just making it clear. And we also want to thank our haters and person that are speaking negative. Thanks for pushing us to our calling. But nevertheless, Wednesday has gone. I'm now I'm looking today. Today is Sunday, which is today would be my graduation. I will be graduating from college today. In a few minutes from now, I will be um, going to a higher level. You know, I always try my very best to do studies. Otherwise, so today I will be graduating um, from college um, in the ministry. Same ministry stuff, you know, to enhance and to empower God's people. Whatever qualification, whatever um, ordination, whatever that we have to get, um, it's not the papers that really counts. The papers that counts is to get your government systems. But the real thing is God's calling, and we're living for God's calling. And we just want to encourage somebody and empower somebody that when you live for Christ, then Christ will make a way for you. I'm just here picturing and reflecting and 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 and, and looking back to where God is taking me from, from a person that could not read or write, or could not spell. You know, you know um, so much things that's happening in my life. I could not. I can't speak everything now, and to see where God is taking me from. Today, today Sunday will be. I will be graduating from a college from 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 out of the Highland, which is in Canada. And believe in me, I'm so excited. I'm so delighted um, um, to labor in the kingdom of God. And I'm going to encourage somebody that you see anything that your right hand do, never let your left hand do. No, anything that your right hand knows, never let your left hand know. Because some person will smile with you, talk with you, raise with you, but their heart is far from you. Whether they're in ministry, whether they're in leadership, whether they are your family relatives, whether they are co-workers, sometimes it's best for you to just keep silent and watch God work. I hope and I trust that 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 I can show you a glimpse of my graduation from college. Um, um, yeah. And as I said before, we're just here just a like kingdom builder. We are here just to elevate and to push god's people into the highest calling as possible and in order for that to happen um we have to get these paperwork in but nevertheless not the paperwork that really counts but as i said before we need these paperwork to establish and to 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 go through the government systems whether it's in our country or our other country you know to show as evidence so but nevertheless i really want to say god is good because God is taking us, take me and my wife from the back burner. We were like David. David was the rejected one. The rejected sons out of all of Jesse's sons. And David did not go to college. David did not go to school, more than wilderness school. And if God can take out David, David from out of the wilderness and, and place him into a palace, then who are me? God has taken us from nowhere and elevating many of us, many persons may be wondering, oh, they are moving so fast. No, God timing is not your timing. God timing is God timing. God don't work off of your timing. Mm -hmm. We don't follow the calling of man. We follow the calling of God. And let me say this to you. If you notice, we don't even run on tigers. As bad as all we may get the tigers, we don't run on tigers because if you look at my page now, you will see Winston Reed. You will not see Apostle Reed. We don't run on Tiger, we run on the calling. But I, we need the, the Tiger to elevate persons that are living for Christ, that wants to go forward. As I said before, today would be my graduation from college. I'm at the place at this point, just waiting for a few minutes to, to chip team, where I will be graduating from out of Canada. Out of Canada. I will not tell you what is it, but it's in a course of, of, of ministering pastors, pastors. So I really want to thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your covering. Thank you for covering me, my wife, um, and everybody that, that support us. Even the Judas, even the Jezebel, even the Delilah, even one that speak to us, even the serpent, even 
um, the scorpion thank you very much because you only push us to hold on onto jesus more closer so as i said before today would be a great day for me again wednesday gone ordination gone today is a gradation for me personally speaking me personally speaking from the college out of canada out of canada so i just want to say thank you thank you for your support i just want to thank i just want to thank my wife as well that pushed me to the highest limit and i also push her to the highest limit and we will continue to do the works of god we will continue to motivate and empower god's people to the highest level as possible and as i said before on the behalf of me wise man reed and my wife we just want to say thank you thank you for your prayers thank you for your support as soon as the graduation begins i will hope i can trust that i can give you a glimpse of what will take in place many persons say that i will not make it but here i am here i am i am here they pick me up then bunks me down then show me up then write me off let me say this to you i'm going to say this publicly sometimes the wickedest persons them that cut down a lot of believers is the one is the ones that are in in the church or sometimes the other one that, that is in leadership position but i'm empowering somebody this afternoon wherever you are that never listen to the naysayers never listen to the naysayers them only will help you to be stronger when you stick with god god will stick with you when you stick with god god will stick with you thank you very much god bless you god bless you i hope and i trust that i can give you a glimpse of what will be taking place this sunday afternoon or this sunday evening right as i said before i will be graduating out of college mm -hmm. another stuff to my name yeah mm -hmm. you know when i was here just reflecting i'm just a simple person many persons have never known that i have a degree in divinity and i never boast and brag or show anybody that i am all this i'm just a simple man with a simple plan that god wants to use and let me say this to you you can make it just push yourself the thing that teach me to read and to push myself and to elevate myself is the word of god and i've lived on the word of god and when nobody around i've lived on the word of god and that has helped me to spell to read to motivate and here am i here I, here i am now yeah mm -hmm. and let me say this again before i exit you mean i like my graduation you mean i like our ordination but it's not what you say is what god say it's not what you say is what god say many persons will use their their intelligence are the intellectuals we are not stupid we are not fool we are not that idiot to to get back at us but the lord said us leave it into him in his hand you could talk talk he make we talk because the more you talk the more that we will be elevating in christ and we thank you very much for pushing us as well we thank you so much for speaking negative we thank you so much for biting us we are thank you we thank you very much for putting out these nasty messages overall we thank you we really because the lord said that all things work together for good for those who love the lord without you we won't make it without judas without judas it wouldn't push jesus christ to die in calvary more faster so judas pushed jesus to die faster so that i can have life and more life abundantly so i thank my judas i thank my judas i judas i thank you judas i really and truly thank you judas i thank you on the behalf of my wife and myself we thank you judas mm -hmm. judas back and belly rats we thank you back and belly rats we thank you so much mm -hmm. delilah we thank you serpent we thank you mm -hmm. serpent we thank you because without you we hold we, we because the more you would say this thing to us the more what we can cling closer to the cross which is jesus christ i said before on the behalf of myself and my significance we thank you as i said before before i exit before many persons come in at this point 
so the graduation is soon gone. I will be graduating today in another elevation in, in, in ministry from college out of Canada. Out of Canada. Not, not this country that I'm at now. Out of Canada. So what God is doing is that God don't want us to be only a local ministers our servants mm -hmm. god want to be and god want us to be an international personnel and let me say this again mm -hmm. the lord said that he will prepare it a table a table in the presence of our judas of our delilah of our giants of our goliaths mm -hmm. but they can only look but there's no way in the scripture it said that they heat with them Mm -hmm. They only can look. He prepared a table in the presence of my enemies. He anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow. What am I saying? God will put your enemy to shame. When he say that what? He will let your enemy become your footstool. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I really thank every negative person. We thank you. The Lord said all things work together for good. For those who love the Lord, we bless you. The Lord said, Bless them that curse you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. And we bless you. And we bless you. And we bless you. And we bless you. We bless you going in. And we bless you coming out. We bless you going in. We bless your children. Because you don't understand that when you kick against the prick, it will juke you. You can never kick, kick against a child of God. Let me say this no man who only. The gate of heaven. Here's the one. Genesis to Revelation. It never said no man. Not Moses, not Hiran. None of them hold the kingdom of heaven. When you stay blessed, stay blessed, child of God. Stay in the presence of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.